What is up guys, Computer MD of Gilbert here, and I would like to firstly apologize for the lack of uploads the past two weeks. As I mentioned in my previous video, right before this one, I have been away on vacation uh, to Scranton, Pennsylvania uh, to visit relatives, family, friends, uncles, cousins, grandparents, everyone, to visit relatives, and I've been very busy, it's been super fun so far, but here's the thing. I'm away till the end of July. I visit every summer with my brother, and that means for you guys, there will be a lack of uploads throughout the summer, as I mentioned in that video. So check that one out, um, but I am going to try to upload as much as I can while I am here, so expect maybe another upload or two or a few more uploads while I'm here, but as I said, I'm kind of limited due to where I am. Uh, the resources I have with me, but I am making a video right now, so let's get into t today's tutorial. I keep doing that. T t today, Junior. So today I'm going to show you how to add an online store in Wix. So we're firstly going to go to the Add button. Once we get to the Add button, we're going to click this online store button, and you can see it has the shopping cart icon. Once we do that, we're firstly going to want to put in our view cart button. Now the reason for this is because your view cart and right before I say that, you link the cart to the page you're going to want it to go to. So right now I'm just going to say page 4 as an example. You press OK. Now the reason we want the view cart button first, and it's all preference, I just like to do it first, but it's because mainly it's going to go on to your home page somewhere so people could see it and probably up in your header somewhere so that way it's uh, always showing on the page so once you have that up there it's linked to page four in this case so now we're going to go back and we're going to go to online store and then we're going to go to shopping cart now we're going to want to add the shopping cart to page four as it's on right now so now your shopping cart will be in here so that way when you click on cart or in this case the view cart button here up at the top you will be able to go to the shopping cart to view what you have currently in your cart now obviously you're going to need some products in the cart or for people to even select so you're going to have to go to product gallery now you have to go to choose collection and really you should just in my opinion and this is what I do go to manage store and I'm just go ahead and go there now to manage your store you would double click this and you go to manage store I'm just gonna say save now blah, 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 something random once it's saved it just wants you to save it to show uh, make sure nothing messes up when you go in or if you accidentally force close or something goes wrong it still has all the information saved so now you go into your Wix store and in here you have access to everything you could change your products add products uh, you could change the payment the coupon shipping tax orders people can make orders but mainly you're gonna be under this my products category as you open it you could add collections you could add products you could also um, add uh, the pricing and everything you could add details and overview of the product but another thing you could do is you can delete your product or you can duplicate your product which is pretty cool now these are all the features you're going to use to operate your store and give people an actual product for them to pick so once you have your store and we're just using this example store of course as it's just a tutorial to show you how to do it you're going to have this here or whatever page is going to be on now i'm putting it all on one page just to show you guys but once you get that store in there you're going to want something called, very important, but called an add to cart button. This way, people will be able to select the product and then it will add it to your cart. Well, their cart when they're ordering. But you need this add to cart button because if you don't have it, they can't add the product to the cart and then they cannot buy the product. So what you do is once you add that button, it'll ask you to pick the product you want to add it to. I'm just going to say that one right there. 
and obviously you'll have all your products titled then you go put that next to that product in particular put it there and then when you press preview you'll press add to cart it adds it to your shopping cart as you see you press view cart it'll bring you to the cart right here and obviously all this stuff will be on a different page but this is how it works then it'll show them what they're buying they'll go to checkout and obviously you need to have an e-commerce account on Wix and also it only it doesn't let you check out in preview mode so that is that and that is exactly how you add an online store to your Wix website if you have any questions do not hesitate to comment down below as I will answer your question also don't forget to give me a thumbs up like this video comment on this video and subscribe to me on YouTube for some more awesome tech content and tutorials thank you guys very much and as I said I'm gonna try to get a video to you guys as soon as I can but until that point thank you and I'll catch you on the next one